We're going to move now to the next portion of the uh, ceremony. I'd like to introduce Professor Brian Kirby, who's the Associate Director for Graduate Affairs, uh, where he will start with the hooding of the PhD student. Welcome to all of you. <clears throat> I'm delighted to be here with you this afternoon. There are many, many things that I, I do in my job, but there aren't very many that give me the joy uh, that days like these do. When I took technical communication, which I think was at the University of Michigan approximately in 1993, they told me that no one really listens to anything you say, but the only thing they'll remember will be your outline and your outline slide. So the outline I have for you are three words. The first is knowledge, the second is medieval, and the third is joy. And the reason why I've chosen these words in this order is because in the same class, they also told me that you were supposed to talk about bad things only sandwiched in between good things. <laughs> so, let me, so let me start with, with knowledge. People often associate universities with, with teaching and learning, right? The university is supposed to be a place of knowledge. It's a place where the, the faculty transmit uh, information to the students, where the students learn. But of course, it's not that simple. Uh, and this knowledge goes back and forth in a, in a number of different ways. I think graduate school uh, and those students who pursue a PhD get to engage in this process in, in countless different ways. They get to learn, uh, but they also get to teach. And in fact, many of the undergrads who are here have had teaching assistants that are, are on the stage. Many of them have been able to learn um, from these PhD students. And in fact, the whole process of learning from faculty, learning from peers, learning from PhD students uh, is probably the thing that's the most enriching about the university environment. We could all go and buy some books um, we could all go watch some videos online, but the thing that really makes Cornell and other universities special is the academic community that we provide. So the PhD students here get to teach, they get to learn, uh, but what's distinctive about the PhD and what's distinctive about graduate research is that these students have participated in the creation of knowledge and the discovery of new knowledge, and then also the dissemination of that knowledge. And the dissemination of that knowledge uh, takes m multiple forms, the key that I'll be reading uh, in a moment. Uh, are the, the titles of their thesis to give you an idea of the knowledge that they've created and, and how they've transmitted that to the world. So that's knowledge. That all sounded good, but really the process fundamentally is medieval. And I mean this both uh, literatively and figuratively. This process is a very, very old one, and it reminds one of torture. It has, it has a couple of, of key steps. Uh, three of them are the exams that these students take, which we call the Q exam, the A exam, and the B exam. Um, and they test the students in a variety of different ways. As, as the faculty, we're really perhaps the most gleeful about the Q exam, the qualifying exam, which the students take in the first year, which involves them taking a one-hour oral exam in front of three of us, where we ask them questions and they write things on the board and then we tell them that they're wrong and then we smirk to each other. <laughs> what, what's best about this qualifying exam I know because I've been doing, I've been giving these exams for 10 years, is that I never know the answer to the questions the other faculty are asking. <laughs> but my first name is Professor, so it doesn't matter. In fact, <laughs> until the night before the exam, I didn't even know the answer to my question. <laughs> but I found it in some sort of large book that I have on my shelf. Anyway, we give them exams. Uh, the, the, the process is fundamentally a master-apprentice model, and so these students have interacted closely with their advisors, and, I, and I'll be reading off the names of their advisors as well. Uh, for better or for worse, uh, the relationship between a PhD student and an advisor uh, is very close. It can be very positive and very traumatic, um, but today we'll be celebrating the positive part of it by having the advisors put the hoods uh, on top of these students. Uh, the last word... If I remember, my outline was joy. And, you know, I have to say, there's, um, there's nothing that makes me happier than those educational moments where I finally figured something out or I finally was able to teach someone something. Uh, there's nothing that makes me happier than those moments when my students get their PhDs and go off into the world. Some of them stay in the academy. Some of them move on to start businesses, work, in, work for companies, et cetera. Um, but that transition between a student that has come to a place of learning and that has now had enough of that and is now ready to move on and, and to do their own thing and make their own life, um, it really fills me with joy. And so I hope that you share, can share that joy with me. What happens next is uh, I'll be reading the names of the PhD students uh, and the Masters of Science students. We'll do the hooding ceremony. There'll be photos. 
And uh, for each person, I hope that you will uh, applaud when, I'm, uh, when I read their dissertation title. Okay, uh, on my script, the first person is Michael Bono. He's getting a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by me. And his dissertation title is Dielectric Measurement of Algolipid Content for Biodiesel Production. Gary Brock is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by Professor Mary Lane Vandermeulen. His dissertation is entitled, Changes in Bone Tissue Properties with Osteoporosis Treatment. Jesse Capicciolatro is getting a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by Professor Olivier Desjardins. His dissertation is entitled, A Mesoscopic Formalism for Simulating Particle-Laden Flows with Applications in Energy Conversion Processes. Chun-Ti Chang will receive a PhD in Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, advised by Professor Paul Steen, who be hooded by Professor Garcia, and his dissertation is entitled Resonance of Mechanically Excited Sessile Drops. <laughs> Peng Chen will receive a PhD in Mechanical Engineering, He's advised by Professor Nicholas Zabaras. He'll be hooded by Professor Garcia, and his dissertation is entitled Novel Uncertainty Quantification Techniques for Problems Described by Stochastic Partial Differential Equations. <laughs> Karen Chang uh, is receiving a PhD in Aerospace Engineering, advised by Professor Mark Psyche. Her dissertation is entitled Model-Based Estimation Applications for GNSS-Based Remote Sensing. <laughs> Sanjay Dharmavaram is receiving a PhD in Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, advised by Professor Timothy Healy. He'll be hooded by Professor Garcia. And his dissertation is entitled Phase Transition in Lipid Bilayer Membranes, a Bifurcation Study. <laughs> Anup Grewal is receiving a PhD in Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, advised by Professor Andy Ruina. His dissertation is entitled Model Reduction and Controller Design Simplification for Bipedal Robots. Benjamin Hasseldine is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by Professor Alan Zender. <laughs> bend at the knees, bend at the knees. <laughs> Being hooded by Professor Garcia, and the dissertation is entitled Compression After Impact of Thick Sandwich Composites, Experiments, and Modeling. <laughs> Atar Jain is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor David Erickson. His dissertation is entitled Optical Devices for Biological and Energy Applications. <laughs> Li Jiang is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor David Erickson. His thesis is entitled, Solar Powered Mobile Microfluidics for Global Health. <laughs> uh, 
Benjamin Johnson is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor Hadas Kreskazit. His dissertation is entitled Synthesis, Analysis, and Revision of Correct by Construction Controllers for Robots with Sensing and Actuation Errors. <laughs> Pilhu Kang is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor David Erickson. His dissertation is entitled, something funny happened, but I didn't see it. <laughs> you know, I can't see anything from here. They're blocking me. All right, the dissertation is entitled, Nanophotonic Trapping for Manipulating Biomolecules and Investigating Molecular Interactions. <laughs> Wei Chi Kuo is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Thomas Avedisian. His dissertation is entitled Thermal Decomposition of Aqueous Glycerin Mixtures, Diethyl Carbonate, Ethanol, and Ethyl Acetate at High Temperatures in a Film Boiling Reactor. <laughs> Matt Leinweber is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering, advised by Professor Ying Shin Gao. His dissertation is, ent is entitled Applying Ultrasound Elastography for Detecting Skeletal Muscle Injury. <laughs> Andrew Makowski is receiving a PhD in Aerospace Engineering advised by Professor Charles Williamson. His dissertation is entitled A Cyber Physical Approach to Experimental Fluid Mechanics. Matthew Mancuso is receiving a PhD in biomedical engineering. He is advised by Professor David Erickson, and his dissertation is entitled Nanotechnology and Smartphones Enable Better Point of Care Diagnostics for Kaposi's Sarcoma Herpes Virus DNA. <laughs> Mark McClelland is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by Professor Mark Campbell. His dissertation is entitled Qualitative Relational Mapping and Navigation for Long-Term Robotic Operation. <laughs> Ryan Mitch is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Mark Psyche. His dissertation is entitled Model-Based Estimation Techniques Applied to Global Navigation Satellite System Jammers. Santiago Naranjo Palacio is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Max Zhang. His dissertation is entitled Exploring the Technical and Economic Benefits of Integrating Thermal Energy Storage into the Power System. <laughs> Vlad Victor Ancescu is receiving a PhD in Aerospace Engineering advised by Professor David Erickson. His dissertation is entitled Development of Point-of-Care Devices for Rapid Diagnostics and Preventive Care. <laughs> Mark Oakes is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Olivier Desjardins. His dissertation is entitled Numerical Methods for Simulating Multiphase Flows with a Focus on Atomization. Radhika Patel is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Yingxin Gao. Her dissertation is entitled Effects of Total Shoulder Arthroplasty on Glenohumeral Kinematics and Mechanics. <laughs> Peter Radecki is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering co-advised by Professors Brandon Hensey and Mark Campbell. His dissertation is entitled Applied Probabilistic Inference, Model Estimation with Active Learning for Predictive Control of HVAC Systems and Perception for Autonomous Vehicles. <laughs> In 
Andy Pachadel is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor Paul Dawson. His dissertation is entitled Microscale Initiation and Propagation of Yielding in Duplex Stainless Steel Under Multi-Axial Loading. <laughs> Stephen Santana is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by me. His dissertation is Microfluidic Analysis of Metastatic Cancer Biomarkers. James Smith is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering, advised by me. His dissertation is entitled Numerical Simulations for the Design Optimization of Rare Cell Capture Microdevices. Jonathan Steffens is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor Mac Zhang. His dissertation is entitled Effects of Roadside Structures on Near Road Air Quality and Implications for Roadway Design. <laughs> Natasha Udpa is receiving a PhD in mechanical engineering advised by Professor Ying Xin Gao. Her dissertation is entitled Effects of Kytosan Coatings on Polypropylene Mesh for Pelvic Floor Reconstruction. <laughs> Qi Zhang is receiving a PhD in Mechanical Engineering advised by Professor Ying Shen Gao. His dissertation is entitled Effects of Aging on the Lateral Transmission of Force in Skeletal Muscle. If we could have a quick round of applause for all of our PhD graduates. <laughs> 